Hey everybody, this is Bud Brown, living in Dumaguete City. A little bit outside, uh, a little farther away from downtown than where we were before. You know, we just moved two days ago. Yesterday we kind of had to recover. And uh, today we're really starting to put things away. So, always a hassle to move. So, so far we've only been here three days, but it's been peaceful and quiet. You may hear some roosters way off in the background, but nothing compared to the last house. I don't know if you can see, but the neighbors are a little ways away. But um, the movers, I was very happy with them. And this is the first time we, we've used movers, and it was... Uh, I'll give you the uh, address the address. I'll tell you how you can get a hold of them if you're if you're uh, curious about it. Uh, and I'll put a a link in the description of this YouTube also. But if you go to uh, dumagetiinfo.com, uh, they're called uh, We Do W E D O Movers, and it's American owner, but he has a Filipino uh, supervisor. And uh, the he was a real nice guy. Kind of felt sorry for him. You know, I don't know. Maleo's getting excited for some reason. <laughs> Maybe she's a dog or something. But Maleo and Molly are really happy here. Yeah, back to the movers. They came when they said they were going to be there right on time. And even half an hour before, they wanted to make sure we're still on plan A. And I said, yeah, we're ready. So uh, they came, and I took pictures, of course, and videos. So you can see they uh, they stacked in, uh, stacked it up, pretty good size height, and uh, covered it all up completely with a tarp, wrapped the tarp, tightened it, and so they really did a good job. The price, he told me, and uh, you'll see... Uh, Maybe I can attach their brochure that they have. But there was uh, two time slots. There's a four hour time slot, which is one price, and another, and from five to 10 hours, another price. So he said he thought that he can move us within four hours because we're not really that far away. It did take two trips, so it's uh, 2,000 pesos for the truck to for the first four hours another 2,000 if you're going to go from five hours to ten hours so it was 2,000 and then for him the driver 500 pesos for the day and his helper if we wanted one and we said well why not you know so it was 400 pesos for him so when it was all said and done and he was adding it up I had calculated 2,000 plus 900, which is 2,900. So I was kind of waiting for any... Well, sure enough, we got visitors. <laughs> okay, let's see who that is. I think he's gonna put in some wiring for us but we'll see how that goes uh, so anything everything went well I forgot what I where I was at but uh, sure enough it was uh, two nine just like you said and I gave him a couple hundred extra just you know because <laughs> he did a good job and he, mostly because he put up with all the supervising people we had uh, three of our friends helping but I feel that movers, and he says he's been working for them for 10 years, so he should know what he's doing. I don't think I need to tell him <laughs> what goes where. <laughs> but, uh, and I said, hey, paciencia para sa mga supervisor. Huh? He said, nah, no problem. No well, problema. So, okay, that's fine. He was very good. So I do recommend them. Nothing broke. Uh, at least... Uh, that was their fault. I think I wouldn't need to see what they're doing in there, but 
I'll tell you what happened. <laughs> when I was moving stuff in the chariot, talk to you later.